Hi everyone, I'm using the Gilded Tarot for our reading today. I'll choose some cards from the Gilded Tarot and I'll also choose one from the Mystical Healing and one from the Gods, Goddesses and Angels as well for some extra guidance. So how are y'all feeling with these intense energies? We move in into the new moon in Scorpio, bringing through lots of opportunities for us to dig deep. This energy, Scorpio, is, is the depths of the water signs it's the fixed water sign and it's like when we look at a lake and we see the surface of the lake but then we go deeper and deeper and deeper we don't really know how deep that lake is and we are not aware of what treasures we will find at the bottom of that lake also the shadows and the the wiggly things that uh, are there for us to connect with and whatever any shadow brings up within us to sit with it and know that we are being held during this time. The veil is thin. This is a Halloween new moon. So we are being held by spirit. This new moon is in Scorpio, nine degrees of Scorpio, and so is the sun, both nine degrees of Scorpio. So this is things closing out. Nines are all about completion as before the new beginnings. We're at the final degrees of Pluto and Capricorn. Again, this is a closing out the old structures. Mars is in the 29 degrees of Cancer. So we have all these water signs, all these emotions coming to the surface, this cellular memory coming to the surface. Maybe it's things that we thought we had moved through whether it is in our physical bodies, whether we're feeling and holding something within our physical body. Taking some time to sit. All this water with Pluto, with Mars in Capricorn, Pluto, uh, Mars in Cancer and Pluto in Capricorn. This is very deep energy and Pluto is ruling the new moon. Mars is the ancient ruler of Scorpio and they're coming into this opposition. So we have Pluto opposing Mars. And Mars is the planet of war of anger and I just feel that the opposition with Pluto is helping to alchemize the anger, the conflicts. This is very powerful because as Pluto shifts out of Capricorn into, into Aquarius. That part of us that we've been moving through of Pluto and Capricorn will fall away. So there may be some fears coming to the surface of how things might turn out for us. A fear of maybe the future because we have hallways 
desired to know what's coming in our lives. And as we step in to the present moment, letting go of the future, letting go of the past, being aware of anything that may be presenting itself to us. Because even though we're going through these transitions of alchemization, that this season of Scorpio and the new moon in Scorpio that is ruled by Pluto is helping us to go deep into the murkiness of our emotions, of our cellular memory. And as we go deep into that memory, a wave of grief or fear or anxiety, whatever it may be, may come. But as soon as that wave comes, there is the guidance from our angels, our guides, our ancestors, our loved ones in spirit, guiding us out of those feelings, those fears. So also Mercury is in Scorpio, that powerful connection to the spirit, spirit realms. Knowing that if we ask any question at this time, so if there's something going on in our life that we do not understand, that we feel in stuck, that we don't see any way out of our problem. If we sit and call in and connect with the spiritual realms that are all around us at this time, speaking to us, guiding us, they will bring in the antidote, they will bring in the questions, the guidance that we are seeking. So even though this is a, a deep transformative time, it's one of rebirth, of this is Scorpio, the rising, the phoenix rising from the ashes, something has to burn away for us to ascend, for us to raise in our consciousness. So this could be some old subconscious thoughts, subconscious behaviours. So these subconscious thoughts create, a, they, they, they create a subconscious behaviour. So being aware of how we are thinking, speaking and how we are behaving during this time to really go deep within into those deep cellular memory and Mars in Cancer is not at home in Cancer but is bringing that energy of protection for the family is working on emotions and maturing those emotions so that the masculine and the divine feminine are in perfect alignment that the masculine is not going into anger or the divine feminine is not going into anger this is a misalignment of the divine masculine that we are able to take our time that we realize that we have infinite time there is no rush, we can breathe, we can settle into our bodies, we are grounding ourselves now fully into this vessel and it can create some uncomfortableness because where we may be holding on in our meridians of some past life, this lifetime, trauma, memories, as this energy starts to come in and expand, it's, it can feel 
painful. It can feel, we can feel tension in it within our bodies because this is Pluto in the final degrees of Capricorn. Capricorn is our skeleton and our bones. So we're feeling this expansion within our bones and Jupiter in Gemini who is assisting through this powerful energy and this transition that we're all moving through is actually taking us within expanding expanding the spiritual wisdom within so we may feel something but then there is the wisdom that comes through and heals and aligns us into the authenticity of who we are not what we've been carrying and what spirit are saying they're saying to put down that bag of bricks that we have been carrying lifetime after lifetime, that's took its toll on our life, that's took its toll on our peace of mind, our physical bodies, our emotions. So we are being encouraged to put anything heavy that we have been carrying down and to connect with spirit that are so powerfully around us, bringing through such light, bringing through the divine wisdom for us to be able to move in the direction of our, our soul. So that our body, our thoughts, are not going into conflict with our soul journey, to trust our soul journey. So this is Scorpio, Mercury. Mercury is the, the magician in the tarot, is the planet of communication and bringing in these psychic and spiritual downloads and what Spirit is saying, that we are coming into a time where we listen to our own guidance. We trust our own guidance. That we stop listening to the advice maybe of others that project their thoughts and feelings into what how we are feeling so their their own projection is going coming through the advice to really sit because it's so loud now that healing that those messages are coming through so loud and they're bringing us deeper in to our bodies not outside of ourselves deeper into our bodies and there's so much movement occurring in the outside world and the planets are in such a perfect positions to hold us, to work through us, to speak with us, for us to connect with. And as we connect with Saturn, that's the father planet, that's the planet of time, of, of, of karma. So we'll guide us through our karmic lessons that we've come here to heal and to learn from. Any father issues may come to the surface and, and sometimes you know we, we may see father issues as a problem with our father. But it may be that we've had such a beautiful father, a gentle father, that no one lives up to that expectation so that we are constantly disappointed in our relationships to really listen to the divine masculine the divine feminine the messages that were coming through from our male lineage and our female lineage 
help guide us. And if we're feeling out of alignment, to rise above, this is what spirit is showing me, to rise above, to feel the feelings, but let go of the stories. That's where we re connect with our higher self that's where we come into alignment that's where we alchemize and dissolve these emotions these emotional memories that are coming up now for alchemization also the north node is being activated and the north node in aries mars rules aries so the North Node being activated and, and that is our sole purpose. That is the direction of our sole purpose. For us to follow, to listen and to, and to hold on to the visions. And if any fear or any doubt starts to come up to breathe through it to rise above to stop listening to the stories that are connected to those emotional memories so this powerful transformation but we are being lifted again jupiter coming through this planet of expansion that is in gemini and helping us with our communications gemini is the card in the tarot is the lovers and in ancient times the that card was a card of choice so showing us where are we holding on where are we going into resistance where are we pinching ourselves off from from love and love the divine love is so very different to romantic love when we align with divine love uh, we love at a very deeper level so there is so much going on around at this time for us and um, i'm bringing through the opportunity and this is Saturn bringing us the opportunity to look into our shadow maturely without going into fight or flight to know that whatever may come up at this time during this powerful energetic shifts that are occurring we, is not by accident it's coming to show us that we have some 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 healing and and it's nothing fearful it's something beautiful because as we something arises the messages will come in to guide us through that situation and guide us through those old even past lifetimes of, of whatever may be coming up that's old in us tight that's old in us in a place of contraction jupiter is coming in to bring in that expansion within and bring in that divine intelligence the divine wisdom for us to be able to achieve that so whatever we may be facing there's expansion coming straight after it it's not that we sit and we dwell and we have those thoughts. We actually feel it. We rise above. We bring ourselves into alignment. We let go of the stories we are telling ourselves that is connecting to those emotions. And we let the emotions flow through us, work through us. Because they are, they are not our future. They're what we have gone through to gain the wisdom to ascend and to heal 
and the card that came out is the temperance and this is a card of Sagittarius and Venus is in Sagittarius she's moving through Sagittarius and is in moving through the great attractor that takes and sucks up all the debris of the cosmos of the universe so this is a time where Venus is in Sagittarius she she is at home in Sagittarius she is so expansive in Sagittarius and asking us to let go of everything that's 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 holding us back from love the judgments the the conflicts whatever it may be the excuses that we find not to love a person or ourselves to allow that debris that dense energy to go and be vacuumed into the great attractor that is moving is sort of fixed there in in Sagittarius that nothing in the universe is fixed but the great attractor it resides there and Venus the planet of love of beauty of even our finances is moving through Sagittarius giving us the opportunity to let go of those thoughts that tell us we are not good enough that that pick at our the way we look whatever it may be uh, the fear of our finances Venus is is exalted in Sagittarius and that is the centaur with the the bow and arrow really focused on where where the centaur is aiming half horse half human focused on where he where the centaur is aiming and letting everything else that is not in alignment with that go let it be be vacuumed away into the, the great attractor and when it goes into the great attractor it's alchemized it's transmuted into light so the cosmos is assisting us in letting go of the dense energy in setting ourselves free from the past that has weighed heavy upon us from lifetimes not just this lifetime this energy is coming through from past lifetimes this is powerful so we have the temperance and you can see that she is she's in water but she's also connecting to the light which is so beautiful for this energy of alchemizing our emotions of being able to still our minds to calm our emotions to come into this alignment of the divine masculine and the divine feminine and the temperance is not being tempted to go into those old stories let the emotions work through us and don't go into the old stories to allow the the fires of Sagittarius of, of Mars to transmute those thought forms so that we can stay in this beautiful alignment then we have the king of cups emotional maturity and the king of cups is very intuitive and this energy is coming through it's it's a very masculine energy again with Mars being in cancer bringing through that emotional maturity that we do not always have to be right we listen to our own intuition 
and, and are guided by our own intuition and however anyone else is guided that's that is okay we don't have to prove ourselves in any way or defend ourselves in any way we're listening to our intuition now and the king is coming through with powerful powerful psychic and spiritual gifts and empathy and knowing that we've gone through a lot in our lives and done the healing and now the 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 healing that we have gone through and diligently work through is starting to pay off and the king is here and, and you can see Jupiter there in the background so again the energy of expansion the base of the pack is the king of wands we've got these powerful kings here the water element which this energy that we're moving through is 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 water is emotions but then we've got the king of wands which is fire bringing in the passion the passion to choose what uplifts us and the courage to let go of what doesn't the king of wands is the entrepreneur and we have the Queen of Swords here, also speaking to us, the Queen of Swords, helping us to quieten and cultivate our mind. There's an activation of our third eye, I'm feeling it as I'm speaking. So as we start to move through these shifts of focusing on our soul journey everything that's not of that starts to fall away so we start cultivating we take the thoughts that strengthen us and empower us and we let go of the thoughts that weaken us and tanzanite the crystal tanzanite is coming through to help us to activate our third eye so that we see through the illusion so clearly now that we don't get caught up into the drama and there is a lot playing out at this time as we're moving through these powerful planetary shifts that are not going to happen again in our lifetime the queen of swords connecting or you can see there her sword is ignited and so is her crown around her third eye so seeing through the illusion and being guided by that being guided by the truth of who we are not having to pretend to be someone else or feeling less than being being happy and at peace with who we are in a state of acceptance Then we have the Ten of Pentacles. You can see the, the treasures that are coming through. And this is what I see when we go into those depths of that, that Pluto energy that's helping us to go deep down and find the gems that are, that are in our fears. Because as we... As we look into those fears and some doubt may come up this entourage of spirit guides of the divine of this cosmic force that's far more powerful than us lifts us and guides us so that we take the wisdom that our doubt starts to weaken and we stand in our faith so the 10, this is prosperity, this is 
and to do with inheritance as well. What have we inherited from our ancestors? The gifts that we have inherited from our ancestors, their talents. As we've gone through our healing process, we have healed our ancestral lines, our male and female bloodlines that we are now able to bring in the gifts of everything, the wisdom, the, the spiritual connections, the enrichment of our ancient wisdom into our babies, into our future generations. So there's powerful gifts here that we are receiving, but also that we are passing on as well. And the Queen of Cups. So we have the King and the Queen of Cups. This is powerful, spiritual, psychic energy coming into that, that wonderful equilibrium with empathy, with kindness, with acceptance using our cards, using whatever mediator, that, that whatever medium that we have to connect with spirit, to, to guide us through these times because they're speaking loud and clear and they're around us. So I'm asking now for a message from the mystical healing, some guidance. We have the, again, this came, I'm sure this came through the last reading, show self-respect, not to berate ourselves, not to allow ourselves to go into fear, because when we go into fear, we are not respecting our bodies, we are going into self-sabotage, we're coming out of a period of time of fight or flight or freeze we're starting to flow now so when we respect our bodies and when we show ourselves self-respect it's being gentle with the way we think it's being gentle with our emotions and our bodies and what we're placing into our bodies making sure we're in this this water watery time that's very stagnant as well making sure we're drinking lots of water to cleanse those emotions allow them to work through us to spend some time around bodies of water and whenever i i tune into water i tune into a consciousness an ocean of consciousness that has memory and we are we are made up of 80 percent of water it's around every cell within our bodies the fluid and that fluid holds water or old memory so we have all these this fluid within us that we're we're starting to shift and change now and freshen and bring in light into that fluid that's around every cell of our bodies so that we are we are moving into our bodies of light so this is respect, self-respect, respect our soul, respect our bodies for housing our soul, for being the vehicle to go through the transformations that we've had to go through, through those times of deep life lessons that we have brought ourselves up we've even been on our knees we have stood up and moved forward and the strength within our soul has assisted us this body this vehicle has gone through things that we may not understand why we had to go through whatever we've gone through until later and if we look back at everything that we've been through and we see every step along the way 
the synchronicities, things lining up that we're, we don't see it forward, we see it in the past, how, how the divine, how our guides, our loved ones in spirit have lined things up for us that are not coincidences, they are spiritual synchronicities that's brought us to this moment and respect ourselves for everything that we've been through. Show ourselves some compassion for that. Be gentle with ourselves. We've come a long way and we're at this precipice now of a big shift in consciousness occurring. So I'm going to ask for a message from our loved ones in spirit as we're in this time of the thinning of the veil. So I'm asking, I'm tapping into the spirit realms now to please come <laughs> I watch over you every day. And as they passed, they were, they were met with so many loving people. And as we, as we do pass, we wake up, we wake up in a, in spirit realm. We wake up and this seems like a dream. And in spirit, time moves really quickly. It moves at the speed of light. And as we move down into these dense bodies, time starts to slow down. And it's a blink of an eye before we are back in spirit again, in the spirit realm, in this dimension, in, in these, this lower, as we come into these bodies, everything is energy, this table is energy, everything vibrates. It vibrates a lot slower than what our spirit does, than our soul does. And so we have this soul within us that it is guiding us. And we'll guide our vehicle, our body, exactly where it's meant to go. And our loved ones in spirit, when they take their last breath here, and we are saying goodbye, they're being welcomed with so much love and they feel that love, they feel that peace. They don't have any of these physical ailments that they may have had before they passed over. They're in a state of joy and peace. And that is what they're bringing through. That's the gift they're bringing through to us that there's nothing for us to fear ever. There is no death. We wake up in spirit. This is the dream. And our loved ones watch over us every single day. So your loved one is with you during this time of this shift in consciousness, guiding, holding us, holding you holding you in a loving and healing embrace. And then the card at the end was I had to leave that way. So whether you were with your loved one or not, it was meant to be, everything was divinely orchestrated for your loved one to leave in whichever way they went home and to let go of any guilt that may we may hold that you may hold to do with that that everything nothing we no matter what we do or didn't do wouldn't have changed the outcome so that's a message coming through that they had to leave that way. That's their sole choice, not ours, not yours. 
their sole choice and to honour that and to know that they are around us every single day. And they're bringing us through so much love and asking that we remember them through the happy memories because that's, that is when they feel the joy and when you are happy, they are happy, they're ecstatic, they're so full of joy when they hear you laugh, they are so at peace when they're at the side of you, listening to you, speaking to them, they listen and they hear. And, and for you to know that, and if you're seeing this video, and if you're seeing these messages, they're coming through spirit for you to find solace in that, to find peace in that, to, to feel the healing in that. So I'm asking for a message from the Cross Cortesses and Angels, Spirit are still around, so they're, they're wanting you to know that they are with you. They may not be in this physical realm, but the Spirit is around and connects with you constantly and is guiding you. And they're saying to listen to music, so turn the music on. Ask for a message from your loved one. Turn the music on and they'll, they love to come through the airwaves. They love to come through music listen to the lyrics of that song and there we are the angel of joyfulness so this is as we let go and transmute of that lower of, of that those bricks that we carry as we let go of those as we start punishing ourselves for things way out of our control we are rewarded with joy. And this is the energy that I'm going to finish with. Because ultimately, that's where we're moving towards. And the more we align with it and feel it within and then allow it to resonate from us, that's when the quantum leaps start to occur. So we're in this year this year of the leap year bringing through those quantum leaps and that everything that we've gone through preparing us for next year how hard we've all worked and the reward is joy so as we let go and become an empty vacuum we let go of the dense energy we start to fill with joy things start to come in that actually make us giggle that make us laugh that put a smile on our face that put beautiful thoughts and and creative images in our minds and our heart starts to open with love and joy and this is the transition that we're moving through the ultimate is divine love unconditional love and from that, we fill with joy. And the angel of healing is looking at me, so letting us know we're not going through this transformation because we're all going through it unique. Like no two people will be going through the same. And that's good. That's good. That's why Spirit are asking that we don't ask for advice, maybe that we come in and to listen to their advice, why it's so loud and clear at this time. The angel of healing is around us, bringing healing into our relationships, bringing healing into our physical bodies so that we can move forward in wholeness and at one and at peace in that oneness. So I'm sending so much love and healing to anyone who may need it at this time. Thank you, thank you for listening.